What's up guys, Joy Kong94 today, showing you guys how to get Siri for your iPhone 4, um, iPhone 3GS, maybe the iPhone 3G, I'm not sure, um, iPod 4th generation, 3rd generation, and if there's a 3G as for the iPods, I'm not sure, that too. Also, iPad 1 and 2. So, first thing you want to do is have your iPhone jailbroken or your device jailbroken, um, just look up a video how to do it. I have a um, annotation at the bottom right hand of the screen to my iPhone videos and iPod tutorials and all that kind of stuff that will show you how to jailbreak certain iOSs. I'm not sure which ones, but you guys can go check that out. If not, just look up whatever iOS you have. Um, so yeah, once you have your device jailbroken, now this is going to be a uh, require a reboot. So if you're on a tethered jailbreak, you're going to want to be by your computer so you can boot it up again. Um, but other than that, it's very simple. Also, you're going to want to be on Wi-Fi because the Spire downloads 100 megabytes and it's going to take a while. So, let's start. You're going to go to Cydia. Now, while this is loading, I'll tell you, this did not work for me last night when I first did this. But, today, it's the next day, and I tried it at like at 4.30 something, and it worked. So it just might take a while for them to recognize you and put you on the server before they start um before it starts working. So yeah, let's get started. Go over to search and you're gonna type inspire. Actually first you're gonna um I'll do the repo first. Um add this repo. Um I'll let you guys see all the repos I have real quick. I'll just stop at it. And you're going to want to add the iHacks repo. To do that, you just hit edit, hit add, and then type in exactly what it says under iHacks repo. So right there where it says iHacks repo, type in that exact address and then hit add. So, yeah, and I'll let you guys see the rest of these. So add all those sources if you want to. You don't have to. The only one you need is the iHacks repo one. So next thing you want to go do is go to search and type inspire, which is S P I R E, and you're gonna download the first one from iHex repo. So just hit um, install and install it. Again, this is a large download, so it's gonna take a while. Um, at one point, it's gonna get stuck, or at least it's gonna look at stuck. It's gonna be, it's gonna say something like preparing, or it's gonna say something. I'm not exact. I don't remember exactly what it's gonna say. But it's going to look like it's frozen, and it's going to do that for about 10 minutes. Just ignore it. Don't worry about it. It's downloading. Just keep it. Um, I would just keep moving it, like, you know what I mean? Like, so it doesn't turn the screen display off. That's just something I do. You don't have to do that. But give it time. Let it download. Once it's done, you're going to reboot, and you're going to go to the next step. Now, if you have an iPad, what you're going to want to do is you're going to, um, since you already added that repo, it will be right here. Spire for iPad iPad slash iPad 2. If you have the iPad or iPad 2, you're going to install that. Okay. After you've done that, you're going to go right here and you're going to type in Siri Fix. And if you have the iPad 1, obviously download the iPad 1. If you have the iPad 2, obviously you're going to download the one for the iPad 2. Once you've done that and you've rebooted and all that stuff, now you're going to come back and you're going to continue just like everyone else. So, um,. Very simple, you're just going to go to settings, general, and go to Siri, and turn it on. Once you do that, you go back, and you're going to scroll down to where it says Spire. And you're going to enter this exact address, https colon slash slash 74.63 two two nine dot forty three colon four 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 hit return exit out of that now you're gonna open up Safari and you're gonna type in this address right here in the little address bar right here not in where it says Google right here at it and type in seventy four dot sixty three dot two two nine dot forty three and hit go and it will bring you to this page um once you are on it you're gonna hit where it says server status tap that Um, if you do know anybody that has iPhone 4S, have them go to the site and please ask them to donate their keys 
for public use. It won't hurt them. It won't do anything bad to them. It's legal to do this. Don't worry. And it um, allows us to use this. And this is an awesome. If you guys want to, please donate to this site. And I don't care if you do, but I, w I don't have money. I don't have a credit card or anything. Otherwise, I would. But please donate to them so you can keep this site running because they're awesome to let you have a free server. So, make sure it says where it says main server. Make sure it says on and happy hour. Obviously, it does. Um, I would make sure it says API server on. I don't know if that, that matters, but it's usually always on. Now you're going to go to where it says fly with us. Hit that. Oops. By the way, I'd like to shout out Apple Critics. Um, he's the guy that I saw how to do this for. He's the tutorial that I watched. So thank you to him. His link will be in the description, and if not, in a, if it's gonna be in the description for sure, um, I might put an annotation to say to subscribe to him. I'm not sure yet, but um, yeah. So I hope you guys. I don't know what I'm talking about. Never mind. Um, all right, where it says "Fly with us," you'll see the second paragraph where it says you will also need a certificate in order to make sure it's secure connection to the secure connection to the server. You can download the certificate here. Where it says that ca dot pm dot hit it. Don't worry about that thing saying the thing's slow. It's not all. It, I say this in like all my videos when that comes up. All it does is wants me to change the color scheme. So basically, this would be solid and this would be solid. It's all it does. I don't know why it thinks it's going to change anything, but whatever. So when it it will say untrusted when you go to do this. Um, don't worry. It's perfectly fine. Just hit install. It'll bring you to another screen. And under the battery bar, it will say something like confirm or continue or done or something like that. Just hit that and install this. Um, once you've done that, you should be all set and you should have Siri. Um, so go ahead and try it out. If it does not work, you're going to want to do two things. One, you're going to want to be patient and wait because I, I know I already said this before, but this did not work. Um, the first night I tried it, I had to wait about, ha about a couple, four or five hours, nine or ten four or five hours until this actually worked so it might honestly I think what it is is just it takes them a while to accept your stuff onto the server and let you be on there so don't get pissed off it doesn't work all the way don't like dislike the video don't comment negative don't bitch this should work it will work I promise you it will work um just make sure you give it time so anyways if that didn't if it doesn't work right away what I suggest doing is go to Cydia and hold on a second, let it load. By the way, um, I'll take this time real quick and ask, do you guys prefer that I use, when I make iPhone videos like this, that I use it like this and do it on the computer through UltraVNC, or do you think it's better when I use my camera and record it like that? You guys tell me and I'll do it. It's up to you. So anyways, go to um, City and this, it, you don't have to do this, but this is if it's not working, you can try this, type in iFile. Oops. And download the first one. Once you have it, um, go to it. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. It should look like this. If not, just keep hitting up here in the top left corner. It will bring you. Um, just keep going back. Um, you can ignore that. Just hit later. And scroll down into where it says VAR. Hit that. Now you're going to want to scroll down to where it says mobile. Hit that. Library or library, whatever you want to call it. Now scroll down into where it says preferences. And you are going to delete the um, dot com slash Apple Assistant playlist. I'm almost 100% positive with that. I'm not sure. I will have it on the screen and tell you if that's right. Like it will be on the screen over here or something. In text and it will say the proper thing to delete but I'm almost 110 percent positive matter of fact I'm gonna check once all right according to Apple critics it's this right here this dot com Apple assisted so yeah delete that but I didn't see that so I deleted this assistant playlist and there's another one that was assisted but it was didn't have the eyes in it it was spelled different I don't know if he spelled it wrong or what he did but um yeah so delete those things, it won't hurt anything. After you do that, you're all set. Again, you can try Siri if it does not work right away. Don't panic, just wait a couple hours, maybe a day, 
and it should work or it will work as far as it worked for me so finally let's show you I'll show you Siri right now hello Siri hello Siri question mark oh tell me a joke Two iPhones walk into a bar. I forget the rest. What's the weather like? Checking my sources. Here is the forecast for New York. New York. Alright, so there you go, you guys. It's working. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please remember to thumbs up and to subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Joy-Kong 94 out.